Welcome back to my booth, Irfan here. Now, if you have ever visited uh, any of the big Chinese shopping websites like Banggood, Gearbest, uh, Geekbang, etc., I'm sure you must have come across some sort of binoculars or monocular scopes that have these insane numbers stamped on them like 60 by 90 or 30 by 60 and you'll be like, wow, I should be able to see the footsteps on the moon with them. Well, that is kind of what I have today. If gadget reviews, DIY projects, and life hacks are your thing, then consider subscribing to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the action. Now this is apparently a pair of 60x60 60 60 binoculars that go for $31 on banggood.com. I'm gonna unbox it and then we are gonna look at some far, far away objects. So inside the box we have a user manual and a nice little carrying case with a strap. Inside that we have the binoculars wrapped nicely in plastic packaging and there is also a cleaning cloth and another neck strap for the binoculars themselves. First impressions, these are not very light, which is a good sign. They're relatively heavy, the build quality seems pretty good. They seem a little fidgety around here, but it doesn't seem to affect the viewing experience so far. And overall the feel of it is pretty solid. Both ends of the lens have covers on them, so that's nice. Now this is apparently uh, 60 by 60 binoculars. Uh, in binocular terms, the first number is the zoom and the second is the diameter in millimeters of the objective lens, which is the lens farthest from the eyes. So essentially these binoculars offer a zoom of 60 times or 60x, which means it will show the object 60 times closer or larger than it actually is and that diameter of the lens is supposed to be 60 millimeters. Now before you stop the video and rush to the comment section to lash out at me about not knowing anything or promoting cheap products, please watch the complete video and the samples I've lined up. I'm not a pro when it comes to scopes but I do my due diligence before putting out content for you guys. Now the claim of 60mm is completely incorrect since these lenses are no more than 35mm in diameter. Now we'll move on to checking out what we actually see with it. Before that I'll uh, just show you some of the basics. As you can see the objective lens have an orange coating on them. I've seen green on some as well. I've been informed that they help with uh, clarity and uh, glare reduction. There is a knob here in the center, uh, which as per the user manual is called the bioptric knob. Now when you look through the binoculars, you initially see two sort of circles. Uh, this knob is used to merge them into one, so you don't have that overlap like you're crossing your eyes. Uh, then the right eyepiece also spins around. This one is used to adjust the focus. Actually, it also has like a scale imprinted uh, inside. It's like the one I've seen on sniper scopes. Not personally, but on TV. I think uh, it's used to figure out uh, how far an object is, but I'm not going to go into that. You can also fold the binoculars slightly to align with your eyes better. And it takes a little force to do that, which is good. They don't just keep folding on their own. Now the main challenge is showing you what I see. For that I'll uh, just grab my phone mount which I ordered for my previous monoscope and try to mount it on the left eyepiece without that scale. Uh, one issue I'm having is that there's quite a big gap between the phone lens and the eyepiece lens. So I had to forcefully remove this rubber cover from it. Once the phone is uh, firmly mounted, it is good to go. I'm going to give you a little demo right now uh, inside itself. See that tiny water bottle and that mug over there? Now this is with the binoculars. I know exactly what you're thinking. That is not 60x. Well, I'll come to that. Let's step outside and look at some other stuff before I conclude. First up, I'm going to zoom in on that light brown building in the distance. It's very far and it's kind of hazy today, so I know it won't be super clear, but let's give it a try. Next, I'm going to look down on some moving traffic. You know what, it makes me feel like one of those uh, cameramen sitting in choppers and following a fast-paced car pursuit. Newsflash. Alright, there's some sort of colorful stuff right there, which is very difficult to make out with a naked eye. I'm gonna look at that now. Now I'm gonna browse through some more shots I took before giving you my final verdict.
All right, I think we have seen enough. Now let's talk about the zoom. It is nowhere, anywhere, even close to 60x. At maximum, it is about 8 to 10x. I mean, for the most part, even the military uses 10 by 50 binoculars. Anything beyond that would be too big and heavy to fit into the size of a portable set of binoculars. And also, it would be extremely difficult to view anything due to the extreme shaking, which would be a result of the restricted field of view. But I have to say one thing, the clarity on these ones is far better than the previous ones I have unboxed. I mean, I'm all about price to performance ratio. I know the claim on the box is completely incorrect. It is not 60x, it is not a 60mm lens. But for $30, this is not a bad set of binoculars. At least we can agree it is fun for kids and adults alike. Take it on your next uh, trip to look at those distant dunes or camels. That's what I do at least in the desert. You can also probably take it to a sports game, cricket, football or any sports for that matter. I think it should be great for that. I'm also uh, gonna point out again that surprisingly the build quality of it is pretty good for the price. This thing is solid and not going anywhere soon. I'm sure I can drop it like a story or two and uh, it'll still be in one piece. I'll leave a link in the description box below in case you wanna check it out. That's it for now guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews, DIYs and life hacks. You can also follow me on Instagram and other social media. All the links are in the description box below. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.